Hello and welcome to another Scratch tutorial. Um, today we're going to be making another mobile friendly game. Um, you probably read the title already, but I haven't written the title yet. Okay, so uh, before we begin, uh, I want to make an announcement. Uh, I have 300 total projects, 100 of which were shared, and 200 are not shared, so yay! Alright, so... Uh, Let's get started. So first, so so if you didn't read the title already, there's going to be a mobile-friendly game where you can fly around in your spaceship. So let's start by making a spaceship. As you know, I'm terrible at drawing, so... Please pardon how awful my spaceships are. I, I never thought the sentence would come out of my mouth. So, first, let's draw our spaceship. I'm just reflecting on what a weird person I am right now. If you were wondering, probably not. So, let's draw our little spaceship. Alright. That's a good little spaceship. I actually really like that. It looks so streamlined. Okay. So, let's start by making simple movement. On flag... Repeat forever. Let's put an if statement in there. Um, so put a not. So again, and so this this makes it so that both this and this have to be true. This is already true because empty ones are already false. So we're going to leave that in there for now for testing. So if the mouse is down, whoops, because this is now because uh, this has. Uh, like this will be tr this would be true if this was true, um, if that makes any sense. Um, if the mouse is down, uh, then it will point towards the mouse pointer and move ten steps. So, so if you click, it will move towards your mouse. Um, we can make this a little more complicated later. Let's just make this lower. There we go. Um, so now, um. Uh, so, I, I'm thinking about making, like, a little alien game with this. So, uh, next thing we want to do is, if touching mouse pointer, then it'll just move negative four steps. So now, if you click, it'll just stop when it reaches where your mouse is. And that's kind of nice. Um, okay, so now, uh, since the only function you can use in mobile games that's interactive is clicking, pretty much, and also typing in some circumstances, let's make a toolbar at the bottom. What? Why did I just do that? No, don't want it. Sorry about that. I kind of freaked out. Uh, okay, so first... Since this is going to be a space game, let's just make the background black. You probably knew I was going to do that. I'm predictable. Now, let's turn the saturation down a lot. Actually, all the way. Let's make a toolbar at the bottom. Alright, so now, let's make a little toolbar. Let's make... Okay, there we go. All right, so now we have a little toolbar at the bottom. So let's see where the X position is. On mine, oh, it doesn't show, okay. What the heck, really? Okay, so this is gonna be a little harder. Uh, so what, what you want to do is make a variable called my which stands for mouse Y. And you want to set MY to mouse Y. This is just uh, so that you can actually see that variable. This is, this is just a little workaround I came up with on the spot. I thought that you could still see mouse Y. So now, if we go right here, that's about one hundred and uh one hundred and forty five. So 
and not and so we want if not mouse y less than negative 145 to so look it will follow your mouse around until you go into the toolbar so now now we have that convenient thing now we can actually get rid of this now. There's no more need for it. I am such a weird person. Sorry, I, I've been sick and I've spent way too much time looking at internet things. So let, let's also start it by having it start at zero, zero. Now, um, let's... We're only going to add one button actually today because I'm lazy and uh, I I might just do this laser later. It's not actually that I'm lazy. I just try and come up with something on the spot and it's kind of weird. So let's make this actually a red button to shoot. Let's make this size 30 maybe. No. Good size. So this can be our fire button and then... Simply what we have to do is on flag, repeat forever, if, get to if statements. You can also do an and, but I'm not going to do that um, because I don't know. I just don't want to. Uh, <laughs> if, um, if mouse is down, <coughs> uh, sorry, all the headphone users I just murdered. So if it's touching the mouse and the mouse is down, then it will broadcast message one and wait, or actually no, just broadcast message one, then wait 0 0.1 seconds or something like that. And this will be your fire rate. Then all we have to do is make a laser. And then bitmap. Laser. Um, then we want um, on flag hide. I I'm starting to do this kind of quickly because I'm about to run into my recording limit, I think. I haven't actually started a timer. But on flag hide, uh, when I receive message one, create a clone of myself. Then when I start as clone show then um it will go it, it has to go to sprite one pointed the same direction as sprite one so you get a pointed direction go to sensing get a backdrop number of stage program switch stage to sprite one switch x position to direction so point in direction of sprite one show repeat until touching edge we're going to make this pretty simple for now um repeat until touching edge which is under the touching mouse pointer program uh let's just have it move 10 steps and then at the end we wanted to delete this clone so now you can fly around and pew pew. Uh, let's just make a little enemy and call it good for now. Maybe next tutorial. I'm just running out of time. I, I, I really apologize uh, about the recording limit. I haven't actually run into one yet, but okay, that'll do. You can draw yours however nicely you want, but on flag repeat forever uh, we want to start by hiding pull a show program Whoops. Um, get a delay function create a clone of myself then when I start as a clone it will show it will go to a random position then repeat until Repeat until touching color.
this color. Uh, repeat until touching the color red, which is the color of the laser. Um, th it will point towards... Uh, you should add health. I'm not going to do that in this tutorial. But it will point towards the spri sprite one and move one step. And then at the end, once it touches the red color of the laser... <coughs> I'm sorry, headphone users. I'm really sorry. Uh, so then, if I point towards it, and then go pew, you kind of get the idea, even though uh, this isn't working too well since I'm on a computer. Uh, but that's all for this tutorial. I'm glad we made it through, and I'll see you in the next one. And also, sorry about the recording limit. If it was really obnoxious how fast I was talking, I apologize sincerely. And I just want to get rid of these aliens. Pew.